Usually WordPress beginners think that creating custom post type is a really difficult and it needs some kind of plugin or so. Well, it's not that as difficult as you think and therefore today I'm gonna show you how within the next seven or eight minutes you can create a custom post type with the categories and tags. For example, we're going to create the custom post type recipes during this video. It has an archive as you see, looks really good. If I open it up, I can use a Gothenburg editor to customize page. For example, I added a gallery here and it has share options. Since I'm using the Bloxy team, it allows me to customize all the layouts. And if you're using any decent team, it works in the same way. So as you see, we have a recipes with the categories and tags here. And if you open it up, we can use a Gothenburg editor and it looks really nice. So if you're interested, then jump in and it's going to take only a couple of minutes. Now, before we start, one thing needs uh, explanation, though. We're going to create a custom post type without any extra plugin, but I'm going to still use one plugin and it's a code snippets plugin. It allows me to add all sorts of snippets without using my team's functions PHP file. If you don't like this approach, you can add the code to the functions PHP, but I would suggest you to use a code snippets plugin. Because if you're using the functions PHP file and you switch teams, then all the modifications are lost. But if you're using the code snippets plugin, then all those modifications are still active. So if you want to use the code snippets plugin, go to plugins, add new, search for code snippets, install and activate it. If you don't want to do that, then go to appearance team editor and search for functions PHP file. Don't modify your main team, create a child team and do that. But once again, code snippets is a much better option for you. So I'm going to go to the snippets, add new. And now I'm going to go to this site, generate wp.com. Scroll down and choose the post type generator. Now let's create a custom post type called recipe. So I'm going to add here a function name. It's going to be create recipe. Next post type slug is going to be recipes. Post type name singular is recipe and plural recipes. My best recipes is a description. Later we're gonna create the taxonomies therefore I'm gonna add the link to the taxonomies recipe category. Separate it by comma I'm gonna add another one recipe tag. I'm gonna not change this one here because I want it to be like posts. Next one, labels, menu name, recipes, admin bar name, recipes. Now I can change all those labels here, but in order to keep the tutorial short, I'm not going to do that, but you can do it. For example, all recipes, add new recipe and so on. Next one, options. I'm going to activate the title, content, featured image and the revisions. I don't want to activate comments, excerpt, author and so on. I'm not going to exclude it from search and I'm going to enable export. Under the visibility it's going to be public. Now I can set the placement. It's going to be under the pages. And here I can add the icon. I'm going to go to the dash icon page and choose this one here. I'm going to copy this row and add it here. Under the query, I'm not going to change anything. Permalinks, I'm going to leave it to default. That means I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to change anything under the capabilities and under the REST API, since I want to activate the Gutenberg editor, I'm going to choose the yes. Now let's update it. All done. I'm going to grab this code here. And now I'm going to paste this code here 
and give it the title recipe custom post type save changes and activate and as you see we created a custom post post type if i click on add new the Gothenburg editor is activated and everything looks like it should look like. There is a featured image and so on. Now let's create the category and tag taxonomies. Therefore, I'm going to go back here, go back to the front page, scroll down and now select the taxonomy generator. So under the general, we're going to give it the function name, create recipe category. Under the taxonomy, it's going to be a category. Here also, taxonomy, singular name is category. Plural categories. It's going to be linked to the post types. Now one thing to point out though, let's go to the snippets once again. Open up the recipe. As you remember, we gave it the post type name recipes. Therefore, this here goes here. This links this taxonomy to our custom post type. Now pay attention though that since we're going to create the category then you should choose yes here under the hierarchical. Later when we're going to create tags we're going to change this to one to no but at the moment it's going to be yes. Oh one more thing. Uh, if you leave here the category then it will conflict with a regular post category. Therefore, add here something, for example, recipe category. Now, once again, you can change the labels, category, all categories, and so on. New category, for example. Next one, visibility. I'm gonna leave it all as it is, except show tag cloud. I don't use any tag cloud, so it's gonna be no. Since I want to show it in the navigation menus, it's going to be yes here. Query, I'm going to leave it as it is. Permalinks as it is. Capabilities also, I'm going to not touch it. Now, since we want the categories to be the Gothenburg settings, then under the REST API, we choose yes here. Update code. Now let's copy this one here. Go to snippets, add new, paste it here, give it the title and activate it. Now, as you see, under the recipes, we have a category. If I want to change the labels, currently it's category, but I want it to be at the categories. I can go back here under the labels, menu name, categories, update code. Once again, copy, go to snippets, open it up, just paste all the code here. Or you can change this one here, menu name. Save changes. And it's there. Now I'm going to create the tag taxonomy. I'm going to back to the general and create recipe cat. I'm going to change the function name to tag here. And once again, change this one here. Don't leave it just tags. Add something in front of it. For example, recipe tags. Now, hierarchical is going to be no. Name is tag and plural is tags. So let's move on. Under the labels, let's change this one. Tags, old tags, new tag and so on. Show tag cloud here is going to be yes. And once again, since we want the tags to be available on the Gothenburg, we choose yes under the REST API. And nothing else to change, therefore let's going to update it and grab this code here. Now let's create new snippet, paste the code here, give it the title, recipe tags and activate it. Under the recipes, we have tags. Now let's create one. First recipe, featured image. For example, this one here. I'm gonna grab some random text here 
add some kind of image here and publish it. Now let's preview what happens. And as you see, we have a small problem here that page, page can't be found. Therefore, I'm going to go to the settings, permalinks and just save changes. And now if I'm going to refresh the page, it's going to be here. So we created our first recipe. Let's add the recipes to the menus. I'm going to go to the appearance menus, custom links. It's going to be recipes, the slug of the custom post type we created. Let's add it to the menu. For example, here, save it, refresh it. It's here. This is our first recipe here, shows up nicely. At the moment, I'm using the Bloxy team, therefore I can customize the layout a bit. I'm going to open up the customizer and there is a recipes post type. I'm going to leave the layout to grid, cards options. I'm going to move the featured image here, move up the post meta a bit, disable the post meta here and looks good to me. Let's take a look at the design. I can change the title font. I like the regular more. And excerpt font, it's gonna be 15 pixels. And I can activate the read more button here. Just a simple one with an arrow. Now I'm going to open up the single recipe page and customize this one a bit. I'm going to show the featured image. Make it a bit smaller. Image visibility is going to be also on the mobiles. Now I'm going to go back here and activate the share box and post navigation and related posts. I'm going to disable the comments. So far, so good. If I want, I can activate the sidebar also, but I'm not going to do that. Last one, I'm going to activate the recipe title up here. It's going to use a featured image as a background. I can customize this one a bit, for example, Title is going to be a bit bigger. And I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to disable the excerpt inside the title. And make the container height a bit smaller. Publish and it's good to go. Now, as you saw, it takes only a couple of minutes to create the custom post type. This way you can create the, whatever post types you would like to create, for example, portfolios and so on. And you can activate the Gothenburg for this post type. If you use a good team as I do, for example, Bloxy team, then it already has uh, support for the custom post types. And as you saw, it was really easy for me to customize these also. Now, before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now. It's also full of useful content. But if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.